We're back here at Wanamaker's Tulsa Arms Show. I'm here with Jim Sapika. He's the director of the NRA National Fires Museum. Jim has once again been wandering the floor. Jim, I, I love when you do it because you always bring back great people and great firearms. So introduce who we have with us now. Well, James D. Julia Auction is one of the great firearms auctioneers in the country. And uh, you've brought us a couple of spectacular guns from the upcoming sale. Indeed. I ask you to bring these just because they're such beautiful specimens. And we're going to start here with the classic. This is the Henry Rifle. This is that damn Yankee gun that you load on Sunday and shoot all week. Very early repeater. We talked earlier about volcanics mm -hmm. kind of being the beginning mm -hmm. of the Winchester lever action line. This is when they really started to take shape with the Henry. Uh, brass frame, and this one is, is, this is a brass frame and not an iron frame, yes? Brass frame, yes. Beautifully nickel plated. plated. Nickel wow. plated, beautiful original nickel on it. It's a lever action. It has the uh, 15 round magazine tube underneath the barrel. And this is when they really started to get the lever action right. It's a 44 rimfire okay. cartridge, a, a very rare gun, very desirable gun to, due to its uh, significance in American history and uh, uh, its history uh, in, in firearms evolution. And this one is spectacular condition-wise. Very, very rare to find an example like this in unmolested condition, as you well know. Yeah. This gun is going on. Uh, 150 years old. Wow. And to find one in, in this type of museum quality condition is very, very unusual. This one kind of came, I mean, this one hadn't been floating around it collector did. circles. Th this has been in a family, uh, we're told, dating to the 1800s, the 1880s. And so finding a, a piece of family heritage like this and then having the privilege to bring it to market is really what makes my job so special. Yes, and we're very pleased that we could present it to you here. Uh, what's really interesting about this gun, not only in the preservation of the exterior, but also the preservation of the unique features, the hickory four-piece ramrod that's in absolutely pristine condition wow. here. Uh, these were all handmade and not perfect, uh, but... <laughs> well preserved and just absolutely impossible to find in that kind of condition. And it's got the, the trap in the butt of the stock for them and uh, you get one of these you always hope there's a rod in there. I mean what's, what's you never a rod know what by you're itself find. worth? I mean it's a, a rod A specimen like this would be a thousand dollar item yeah, easily. Yeah. Absolutely. Now that's for the rod. What's your estimate on this rifle itself? Items like this come up so infrequently in this kind of condition it's very difficult to say. We're going to be very conservative and realistic in our estimation here. 75,000 to 125,000 for auction purposes. When inspired, resourceful people get together, anything's possible. But we're confident that the gun will be well represented at auction and um, the hammer will wow. fall at the, the realized price. And we hope it's a, a pleasant response and a positive response I suspect for our client. It will be. Yeah. yeah, beautiful gun. Yeah, I really beautiful. appreciate well, it. Let's thank you. take a Let's look at it. Let's deal with James D. Julia. Thank you so much for. for for, for coming here and bringing this treasure. Thanks for bringing it here. Our on, great on pleasure. We certainly uh, support the NRA and all that you do. It's beautiful. Jim, how do you do it all the time? These I'm guys do it. They find the great stuff and they bring it out oh, and yeah, uh, we know, get I, to look I, at I, it. We'd love you know, coming to the Tulsa Arms I Show know, for Curator's Corner. And, and, and Wes is going to stick around because we've got another treasure here. We're going to get in the next, next segment of Curator's Corner and we'll be back with that soon.